YouTube, what is going on? Let's talk about another crypto project. This project is on the Ethereum chain, and this one is called Truebit. It is a scalable verification solution for blockchain. I'm sure you're going, what the heck does that mean? We'll talk about it here in a minute, but before we do, I must inform you I am not a financial advisor. This is purely for entertainment's sake. Do not listen to anything I say. Do not invest without doing your own homework and making a decision for yourself. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. I know I just said that. But just reinforcing that point. Lastly, if you all would please drop a like on the video. Let me know what you think of this uh, project down in the comments. And uh, if you all would please consider subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. And it really helps with the YouTube algorithm if you do any of those three things. So with that, let's take a look at Truebit. So as you can see, Truebit right here at the top, uh, a scalable ver verification solution for blockchains. What the heck does that mean, right? It's a blockchain enhancement which enables smart contracts to securely perform complex computations in a standard programming language at reduced gas cost. Basically, this isn't your fun meme coin. This one actually has real practicality for it, which means it's not going to sound really nice like uh, tokenomics and, you know, you, there's this burn and you get coins just for holding and they're not doing an NFT marketplace. Um, you know, they're trying to solve a challenge that's actually in the blockchain that's for lack of a better term, boring. Uh, it's not fun and sexy, but it solves a real problem. So that's, that's you know, a good thing, and that's something that's probably good to potentially look at investing in. Uh, if we keep going down the protocol, we're not going to sit there and read that. They do have a white paper. Uh, actually, if we click into that, it's actually like a legitimate white paper. Uh, so that I do like that piece of it just because, again, it's a real project. It's not uh, a project that has been marketed to sell coins, right, to make a profit. This is actually a project that they're really trying to actually solve some of the problems. Now, I'm kind of going to scroll toward the bottom. I'm not going to get into all of these, um, you know, how it functions because I don't think you or myself really want to sit here and try to understand exactly how this is functioning. If you are interested, the website, you can come. It's truebit.io, and you can very easily come and check this out for yourself if you want to get into the nitty-gritty. Um, but they do have the diagrams for how it all works, if that is something interesting to you. <clears throat> Here are some of their FAQs. Uh, you know, where can you run task? You do have to uh, set up their, their OS if you are interested. Uh, you can buy this on Uniswap if you want to. There's the address. Again, gas fees could be high for buying it because it's on Uniswap. And everybody knows that Ethereum gas fees are pretty high uh, currently. If you want... Uh, to obtain them, you can either do it, like I said, through Uniswap, or you can do it through the Truebit OS. Uh, those are pretty much the two ways that I'm available, or I, sorry, not I'm available. I'm aware that you can, you can uh, get your hands on the coins. Now, if you would like to actually run the protocol and help with the project, uh, you can reach out to them. They have a contact form at the bottom of the page, and uh, you can either be a task giver, solver, verifier, and uh, they'll need some information, your GitHub handle, and you'll have to set it up, obviously. Uh, I found this kind of interesting. It says, you know, if you work for an exchange, uh, how would they do a listing? They said, we welcome your participation in the network. However, our organization does not engage in exchange listings. Um, that, to me, is almost the anti, like, pump and dump model, right? They have no interest in being on an exchange, according to this. Uh, which is kind of peculiar, um, but I guess they're really trying to solve the problem. They were more interested in solving the problem. So for me, this is a positive in a sense that the team actually believes in the project and they're not interested in just getting listed everywhere to see the value of the coin, you know, go through the roof um, like others may be. So if you want to learn about their economics, you can click here. Uh, we'll click that real quick just to kind of see what it tells us. Um, I'm not, this is all pretty detailed stuff. I'm not going to sit here and read all of that, but if you are interested in, in how their economics work, there you go. Uh, if you want to invest again, they actually are doing like equity rounds, not investing in like owning the coin, actual legitimate, uh, equity rounds. So if you are interested, reach out to them that way. And if you have a, oh, they don't have a telegram. So sorry, apologize. But they do have all these other forms if you are interested in following them. I personally follow them on Twitter. 
Uh, so that is where I keep up with the project. Now here's really what I wanted to talk about. This was the use cases. This to me was the most interesting part. Um, a lot of these actually, it seems like the last sentence in most of these paragraphs kind of explains what, what the point is. Uh, but so let's take a look, right? This is, they're trying to reduce the gas prices, uh, you know, do things more efficiently. That's essentially what this one says. Uh, so this is actually kind of interesting as well. They, they talk about the ability to move across different chains. Um, so that's pretty cool. They, they can do some high, high transaction throughput. So the it says apply Truebit for bookkeeping tasks like cumulative interest payments and batch trading. So that would be interesting if anybody has a lot of like payments to do, um, then obviously Truebit would help do that. Uh, they have this thing called Live Peer. It says users can share videos without relying on a centralized resource or authority. Again, in the world we kind of live in where you know, a YouTube, a Facebook, Twitter, whoever can decide who functions on their platform and who doesn't. I think this type of project and this decentralization of hosting is going to become big very soon because I think as we've all seen within the last year, uh, some of these big, big tech companies are, are playing a dangerous game in, in kind of deciding who can play on their platform and who can't. So I definitely think, uh, you know, decentralizing the live streaming video and whatnot it should be interesting and if Truebit's going to be able to help with that you know that that to me is a big win for this project another thing they have out art dow it says Truebit serves as a catalyst for combining the power of unstoppable autonomous systems like bitcoin and ethereum with machine learning uh that's kind of an interesting statement i guess if we start from the top though it says a, a machine entity with blockchain based financial resources and access to computational power could conceivably sustain itself by producing art, selling it, and using sale revenue to, to refine its own program code, which is actually kind of like scary to think about if you actually like let it you know sit and you kind of just let it do its thing. Um, but that's definitely interesting that you know they potentially could be a part of something like I that. Get that. Sorry, my uh, my watch is yelling at me. Um, but there's definitely some interesting use cases here. They've got a couple others. Uh, they have this one called Plasma. And this one says, when a provable uh, malfunction or fraud proof occurs in a child chain, a witness of that error allows its parent to reconcile the error via Truebit verification. Um, again, kind of interesting. That sounds like enhanced security to me. I do know I've heard a lot of people, whether it be Twitter uh, or various other places that I may find information, a lot of people seem to be high on this project. Um, they also have federated learning. Uh, let's see, share and process information without revealing raw local data to the network. That's actually pretty cool because obviously if you're gonna decentralize things like you know live stream and video and hosting and stuff, you obviously wanna keep that um, you know stuff private and whatnot. So that's, that's interesting as well. And then insurance, the dream of fair premiums together and accurate efficient claim processing without a trust Without a trusted centralized manager requires computational consensus. Assuming formal event criteria, Truebit can transparently aid in verifying claims, automating payouts, and maintaining premiums. Again, interesting. It sounds like they're dabbling in a lot of different use cases. Uh, actually, in this um, this website was just updated. Uh, I know even a week ago, they didn't have a lot of this information on here. Uh, so they have, again, a number of different things that you can click into, uh, public art installation, ICO, this dog Ethereum where you can kind of go from Dogecoin to Ethereum and back and forth. Um, they have a number of different things and projects they're, they're working with here. You have their token if you're interested. Um, there's some research, I'm not gonna click into any of that. If you wanna get in contact with them about setting up uh, the Truebit OS or investing, here's your form. The one thing I will say that I wish they had, I wish they had something about the team where we could learn a little bit more about who they are, uh, you know, kind of put a name to a face, if you will. And also, if there were any like formal backers, um, that would be that would be nice too to see, you know, if it's like Coinbase Ventures or whoever uh, is backing the project. 
But I gotta say, from a practical standpoint, this one definitely has some practicality to it. Uh, if we just take a look at the price chart, you can see currently it's at 78 cents, essentially. And you can see over the last 30 days, it, it spiked up, it's come back down, it's kind of hovered in this, this trading range. I don't know, it's roughly a 50 cent range that it's been bouncing around in. Uh, again, if you are interested, as you can see here at the bottom, you can get this on Uniswap and that's where most of the volume is at. So if you're interested in purchasing it, maybe you know a longer term play that could be you know, a, a nice you know, long-term security, efficiency play, uh, real-world applications. This may be a project for you. So if that's the case, let me know down in the comments. And with that, thank you all for watching so much, and I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day.